Hello and welcome to Stone Blocks 2 and how to kill the Chaos Chicken. Now before we start, I just want to say if this video is helpful, please drop me a like, comment and uh, if you're so inclined, subscribe. Or if you want to um, me to annoy you on a, uh, a you know weekly basis, please push push my bell. Um, push my bell and you might even get a good time out of it, you never know. Anyway, enough of that jargon. Um, so today I'm going to take you through a quick guide on how to kill the Chaos Chicken. Now the Chaos Chicken... Is part of a quest line in Stone Blocks 2, and it comes after the Mighty Ender Chicken. Now, I've got a video on how to collect Dragon's Breath from the Ender Chicken, so if you're curious on how to kill the Ender Chicken, I will put a link for it down below in, in the description of this video, and also at the end of the video, there'll be a link there, so you can go see how that's done. Uh, if not, and you've already killed that, and you want to know how to kill a Chaos Chicken, then stay with me, and I will take you through, step by step, what you're going to need to kill the Chaos Chicken. Now, the Chaos Chicken is essentially the Ender Chicken's big bad brother he is a lot harder to kill he has a lot more health he does a lot more damage and he moves a lot quicker now he has pretty much the same abilities as the ender chicken so once you learn his abilities and once you've got the correct gear he's not actually too hard to kill so in order to kill him i've come equipped in full draconic gear now i've got no upgrades for this gear as you can see there it is just fully charged and heavily enchanted with protection four protection four you can use an enchantment table or an, uh, sorry, an enchanter and an anvil, and you can make enchantment for if you've got enough experience, and just pop it on every single piece of armor. Once you fully charge this armor, it'll give you a shield, which means you won't take any damage. You will, in fact, instead lose shield capacity, and if the shield drains, you'll start to take damage that way instead. Uh, and that's the armor we're going to use to kill uh, to survive his attacks. In terms of killing him, we've got the chicken stick to take down his shield, and we've got the draconic bow. With the Draconic Arrow Damage Upgrade with Power 5 and Infinity on it. This way we only need one arrow and it does more damage because it's Power 5. In order to spawn in the Chaos Chicken, you're going to need exactly what you needed for the Ender Chicken, which is just a circular block of obsidian like so. Well, it's, it's Minecraft, so it's square. A square block of obsidian like so with a diamond block in the middle and you're going to need a Dragon Egg. Now, for purposes of survivability, I have brought Supremium Apples. Now, these can be quite difficult to make. However, if you progress down the Project E questline and end up with an energy condenser, which you can easily do once you can kill a Chaos Chicken, uh, then you can, in fact, just make the base tier of the um, Supremium, the, uh, the Essences, and work your way from there, and then you can just EMC a load of these Supremium Apples. Uh, they're, they're very low EMC, 11,000, you know, a couple of diamonds there, and you are in business. So, uh, let's get on with killing him. So, we're going to eat a Supremium Apple. Which is going to give us an absolute shit ton of buffs. And we're just going to drop the dragon egg straight onto the obsidian, uh, the diamond block. Now you can see his health bar is going up very slowly. He has a lot of health. Uh, and it takes a good minute for him to come in. Well, maybe not a minute, maybe 30 seconds. I don't know. I can't really count. You guys work it out for yourself in the time on the video. Um, but as his health bar is going up, just make sure... To take away of your surroundings, because his beam will hurt. As you can see, I've built this weird structure made out of obsidian. This is just for a bit of cover. Uh, it's really useful. And just ignore that in there. That was like a temporary base, but he blew the crap out of it when I was doing this in test. Um, so, yeah, he's he's pretty powerful and will destroy obsidian. But any cover you can get will just save your armor. So as soon as he's almost about to spawn in, you want to pretty much get right next to him with some kind of sword out. It doesn't really matter what kind of sword it is. Just a sword will do. And as soon as his little legs pop out, which should be any second now. Boop! Come on! Come on! Come on! Where are they? There they are! Go up to him and whack him a few times with the sword to get him out of his shell. And then take the chicken stick and hit him with the chicken stick. Now, you are free to start attacking him, I think. Uh, maybe not. No. Okay. He talks to you a little bit. It's, it's nothing major. He's just saying, you know, you're going to die. Which, you know, it's fair enough. I have just woken the prick up from a big sleep. Um, and he, he is going to try, try to murder me. Now, as you can see, he's immediately firing eggs at me. And he's got his beam spawned in pretty much instantaneously. But with an enchanted wyvern bow with draconic damage, as you can see, I do quite a lot of damage to his health. So he is dropping very quickly. Now, one thing that is slightly different with this guy is that he will periodically bring his shield back up so if uh, if he brings his shield back up you're going to have to get in close to him again like so you're gonna have to get in close as quickly as possible just go in and whack it 
whack it straight down. As you can see, my Wyvern, Wyvern armor, even, is absorbing most of the brunt. And the bow is taking its health down pretty quickly. This bow will, you know, it'll, it'll kill the, um, the ender chicken in very few shots. So you can just appreciate just how much health this guy actually has. Uh, try not to fall down into the, um, the previous dimension. I've done that many times. And uh, running again because he shields back up. And if you fall down into the previous dimension, it's not so much a pain to... Uh, why can't I... Um, why can't I lower shield? Lower! Get down! Get down, you bastard! Oh, for crying out loud. Come on. Okay, right. Drop. There we go. Ow. 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 Okay. Uh, so, yeah. He's, he's charging up his beam again. Straight behind here. Jobs are good. And Supreme Essence has run out, so we'll just eat another apple. That makes sure that our health stays up nice and high. And then we can go back in and start peppering him with arrows again. Uh, he appears to be about to fire beams at me. He likes firing this beam of death today. He is very much in his beam of death mood. Uh, but yeah, we just keep peppering him with arrows pretty much with the wyvern bow from a distance. You can make the wyvern in bow with a... Um, I think it's like a draconic enrichment chamber or something. I can't remember what it's called. And uh, draconic infusers. And... Um, it's, you know, it, it takes a little bit of time to get, but it's definitely worth it. If you can only make the armor, though, you can use a regular bow. It just takes a hell of a lot longer to take him down. And he's putting his shield up an awful lot right now. But as you can see, it, it's it's quite simple with what you need to do. Just avoid him. It's on the bottom left-hand side, my armor's barely going down. Um, the armor that I've got equipped is more than enough to kind of withstand his blows. And he's running off like the little bitch that he actually is. Now, still be careful, though, because if he does catch you with a a beam, it is going to suck. As you can see right there, look how much my shield just dropped then, because he caught me with one beam. One beam, and my shield just went down an absolute fuck ton. I'm either missing this clown, or he's bugging out, because I can't hit him. So, towards the end of the fight, he... Um, he becomes a bit of a pain in the ass, and he's just going to constantly spam this bloody beam effect, which is all well and good, but you want to kill him. So you need to get in a little bit closer than you normally would, a little bit out of the comfort zone and pepper him with arrows, and just before he can get his beam off, behind the obsidian wall, easy as you like. And then finish him off at your leisure. He'll do a little animation, his health will pretend to go back up. It won't actually go back up, don't worry too much about that. And he will drop down all in one, and he'll drop some nice loot. Normally on your first time you're killing him, you'll get around 115 levels. I've killed him two or three times now, so it's not really much of a problem for me. I don't get too many levels, but that's it. You know, that's that's all there is to it. He'll drop pretty much like, similar things to what the Ender Chicken drops. So you get a Dragon Heart, because he is technically a dragon. And you'll get a few Chaos Shards. These are in tier game. Uh, crafting materials used to make things like the, uh, the Transmutation Tablet, which is the Portable Transmutation Table, uh, which is essentially a an energy machine that's more, more efficient. Like, as long as you've got the EMC, it gives you a list of what you can craft. You don't actually need to have the equipment. And then you can also make a Draconic Reactor Core using Draconic um, Dracon Draconium Ingots, sorry, Awakened Draconium, and the Chaos Shards to go into the Tr Draconic Re yeah, Reactor Core. I can speak. I can't speak, I'm lying, I'm lying to you, I can't speak. But that's it, that's the entire fight of the Chaos Chicken. So it's pretty easy to kill with just basic level draconic draconic ar uh, armor. I'm saying basic level, it's still going to take a little time to get. But once you've got it, you're very, very unlikely to die. You know, a few Supremium Apples and you are good to go. So that's the entire fight, guys. Listen, if you enjoyed this video and if it was useful, like I said at the start, drop me a like, subscribe, you know. Uh, show, show, show a bit of love, a bit of love for me. And, um... Yeah, I uh, I will see you in the next how-to video. Bye!